Who's the man who? Take another look there now, boy. Who's the man who? Uh, uh, uh. Good morning, good afternoon, family. Good evening, y'all. Welcome to this place I like to call the mental house with me, your host, Adija. I'm finna bring y'all a story right now that should give you some feel good. I know it gave me some feel good. Actually, it's a follow up to a story that I did at the end of last year, I believe, uh, about the pastor who was arrested for watering his neighbor's lawn, his neighbor's flowers. Um, the police who arrested a black pastor while he watered his neighbor's flowers can be sued. Yes. A federal appeals court has ruled, reversing a lower court judge's decision, which had dismissed, dismissed the pastor's lawsuit. A three-judge panel of the 11th U.S. Court of Appeals unanimously ruled that the three officers who arrested Michael Jennings in Chils Childersburg, Alabama in May 2022 lack probable cause for the arrest and are therefore not shielded by qualified immunity. We gots to get rid of this qualified immunity. We gots to get rid of it. You know, and I'd rather have, I'm going on record right now for anybody under the sign of my voice. Although I'm a paid member of ADOS, uh, the, um, uh, the ADOS Advocacy Foundation, I am a paid member. I want you to know that to me, the most important thing that we can have as black people, ADOS is qualified immunity. Okay? I mean, white folk are seeing now that this government don't care nothing about them. So, I'm glad of that. But we been know the government ain't, ain't care nothing about us. And so, we have to be able to do something to fight back without actually fighting back. Our numbers is too low. So, qualified immunity protects officers from civil liability while performing their duties as long as their actions don't violate clearly established law or constitutional rights which they should have known about now it don't matter with them they'll jump on the hood of the car and shoot through it a hundred times so the, the the law is too vague and they should come down from a federal mandate how uh, disqualified immunity shit has got to work, okay? Because they gon' they gon' they gonna have to learn that they can't just kill us because they had a bad day with their teenagers or their wife, you know, or they can't just kill us because they doing cocaine and on drugs and they having um a reaction, okay? Their patience is all messed up and stuff, so they got to jump on somebody, okay? Anyway, this man Jennings was arrested after a white neighbor reported him to the police as he was as he was watering his friend's garden. And, you know, and I and for the white person that called the police on him, shame on you. Shame on you. I don't care if you ain't never seen him. Shame on you. I'm so sick of y'all being so damn stupid, but then I realized y'all didn't get along with each other before before y'all uh, dealt with us. Y'all couldn't even deal, you can't even deal with your own self. So you're very disagreeable. And so you thought this was funny. You wanted to call the police on somebody. And you called it on this man that was watering his neighbor's lawn. As far as I'm concerned, your apology not accepted. Okay? Jennings was arrested while a white neighbor reported him to police as he was watering his friend's garden while they were out of town. She couldn't come and ask them nothing. She had to call the police. Okay? Alabama Pastor Michael Jennings accused the police of 
a racial profile in him in a discrimination lawsuit after he was unlawfully handcuffed for watering his neighbor's flowers. I mean, it 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 it, it was beyond belief. It was so damn stupid. So, cops received a complaint about a strange man and a vehicle on the property. The respondent officer said they arrested Jennings because he refused to provide a physical ID. Body camera footage shows that the man repeatedly told officers he was a pastor, that he was Pastor Jennings, and that he lived across the damn street. Jennings, who was seen in the clip watering the flowers with a hose, had just returned from Sunday service. He told police his long-term neighbor asked him to look at and his shrubbery while he was out of town. Look after. But despite his good intentions and other residents vouching for him, including the neighbor who is white, Jennings was taken to jail and later charged with obstruction of government operation and forced to post a $500 bail to get out. I'm so sick of y'all with this dumb stuff I can't see straight. Yeah, I'm sick of it. Yes, I'm sick of it. I mean, one, <clears throat> one woman who also lived across the street told officers that the pastor and the homeowner were indeed friends. You think they cared? Because he didn't like to humiliate us, insult us, try to do everything to break your spirit. This is a battle of our psyche, battle, a battle of uh, a stand on top of your mentals in any kind of situation. Because this is ridiculous. It was ridiculous then, it's ridiculous now. Because despite Amanda coming to the aid of the black pastor, despite her telling the cops that they were friends, despite it all, Jennings was still arrested and charged. The baffled pastor who lives in a house across the street responded, I had the water holes in my hand. I was watering the flowers. I'm out in the open. I mean, <clears throat> I, I, you know, I'm glad. And I hope he sued his brakes off of the ass. Anyway, he could have, he could have, he could have, uh, anytime you call the police in, you you could be dead. That's why when you call, you got once to call the police on me. I can't mess with you. Okay? Because I'm not going to call the police on you. Because you know, you're not, you calling in a gun. Let's just keep it real. Things can get bad real quick when you call somebody in somebody's house and they got a gun. Man. Anyways, I want to know what y'all think about that. Are y'all glad this pastor is finally getting ready to get his just desserts? He going to sue the brakes off their ass. What y'all think about this? Leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. See you in the next vlog.